So now we're going to look at how to build the juggling process main screen. So let's go back to the storyboard. So this is the slide in the storyboard that talks about the juggling process. So I've laid out here that there's going to be a base layer. That's what we're going to look at right now where we're going to insert five buttons. So basically this screen is where the learner can click on each one of these steps to branch to that information from this screen and they can return back to the screen later. So it allows them to just kind of click through as they're going. So on this screen, we're going to create five buttons, step one to five, and we're going to insert instructional text, click on each step to learn more. That is going to be right here in the speech bubble next to the avatar. So the avatar is going to have one arm out to the left side facing front pointing at the buttons and there's going to be a caption with instructional text. Clickable buttons. You can choose a color that goes with your course color scheme. So I'm choosing this pinkish reddish color and then as part of the slide layers, which we'll get to in the next video, when the learner hovers over each of these buttons, it'll indicate just the main kind of point about what they'll learn in each step. So for example, the first step is position, and then we have one ball, two balls, three balls, and continuous juggling. So we're going to create five clickable buttons. We're going to use the hover state. Now I'm going to talk about button states in this video, and this is what I've used to create the interaction. This will trigger the slide layers to show the main idea for each step, as I just said. So when a button is clicked, the action will branch to a similar slide showing the specifics for each step. Buttons should change to another color when they are clicked, so the learner knows what step they are on. So we'll get to that in this video as well, that when they click on, for example, step one, it'll branch to the step one screen and it'll change color and I'm using a blue and you'll see that um, when we do this. So then they'll know that they're on step one because the button is blue. Okay, so now let's go back. So I'm just gonna write in the title here. And I'm going to make this my blue color that I've been using. Okay. And we're going to insert buttons. So I'm just going to delete this. There we go. So we just have a blank screen here. So let's just go look at the storyboard again. So we need to insert buttons and insert an avatar and insert the um, caption here. Now we've already created caption in the previous one, the previous slide, so we can just copy and paste that and then just insert the text we need. So to insert buttons to start with, go up to insert and over here to button and I chose these ones but you can choose whatever you'd like and then just position it here arbitrarily for now and create the shape. So we might have to tweak this um, once I write in the text for the size that you want. Okay, so step one, and I'm gonna make this a different color here. And then I'm going to change this font color and I'm going to make that white. And then for the border for the button, I'm going to make that this color right here. And let's uh, maybe change the size slightly on this. Yeah, something more like that, I think. All right, so now we can just duplicate this. So now we have five of them. And I'm just going to position them here for a second. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm going to just rename them. Okay, so now if you look over to the right hand side, we have the buttons, but we haven't indicated what the buttons will do. So we're going to have to add triggers. So we can click here because it already has it. Add triggers. We click there. So we're going to have it jump to slide. Step one, position yourself. When the user clicks, button one. Okay. Button two, jump to slide. Step two. Okay. Button three, jump to slide. Step three. Button four, jump to slide. Step four. And button five, jump to slide. Step five. Okay, so now let's just look over here. We're going to go over to the story view here. I just want to show you something. So as I did that, because I'm telling it to jump to different slides, the story view has now changed. So this is what I alluded to in um, the video where I talked about the, the layout, which we put together ahead of time. Now this slide here, the juggling process branches to step one, two, three, four, and five. So you'll see more changes happen as we go through because we're going to add light box slides and remediation for the knowledge check questions. So there's going to be a few more things that are going to change here, but I just wanted to show you that. All right. So now we have the buttons uh, triggering to jump to those slides. So now let's insert our character. And we're going to change her pose. We're going to have her pointing to the buttons. So probably this one. And we'll have her talking as well. Okay. So I'm just going to center these a little bit better. So if you want to grab all the buttons at once without having to move them individually, you just drag and highlight them. So I'm going to move this down a bit as well because when we create the other slides, we want, we want every slide to kind of have everything in the same position each time so that when you click on a button, it just goes to the next slide and nothing changes except the color of this is going to change to blue. So you know what step you're on, but everything else will be in pretty much the same position. So I'm just going to move that down. And I'm going to move her down as well, bring her over a bit. Okay. We might have to tweak this a little bit once we start creating step one, two, three, four, five actual slides. So we may return to this because at this point I can't, I won't know like how much space I need up here to put text that needs to go there. So we'll just leave it like something like this. Actually, I'll just move this over just a little bit more. So we're more or less centered in the screen now. And then we have some space up here. So like I said, we may need to tweak this a bit later. So I'm going to go back to the previous slide here with that text box and I'm just going to copy it. And then I'm going to move it over here. And nice thing about these speech bubbles, you can then drag this over so you can have it like pointing like this. Or you can move that like something like that. So whatever you want to do there. And then we're going to update the text here. So let's go back to the storyboard. And I'm just going to copy this. And paste it. And I'm 
I'm going to make that bold. And then I'm just going to resize this a bit. Okay, so you can keep tweaking that. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Okay, so if we look over here to the play triggers down here, we have jump to next slide and jump to previous slide, but we don't want them to necessarily be able to just click next here because this is a branching screen. So we're going to just delete this one here. And we're going to make sure the previous step goes to what you will need. Okay, now we're going to look at the button states. So states you can access down here. Here you have the timeline, the states of the buttons and notes if you want to insert notes. So the states, what I mean by that is that the button will have a normal state. That is the state you're seeing right now, this pink color. And then when you hover over the button, it'll have a different color and you can edit this. You can change this to something else if you'd like. This is the, the default right now. When you push on it, it'll be darker. And then this is the visited state when it's already been clicked. And then we have disabled right here. So you can't click on it. That's the color. But we also want one for when it's selected. So when we click and then we've selected it so it's been already kind of clicked on and we're seeing the new information that it is giving us by clicking on it. That's what we want. So we can go over here to edit states and then we can go here to new state and there's a whole bunch here. They have the default ones um, already showing but there's one more default one that built in called selected. So we're going to click on that and we're going to say add. So now it's adding the selected state, but I want this to be a different color. I don't want it to be the pink. So I'm going to still edit that. So I'm going to go up to format and I'm going to go to button fill and I'm going to choose this. And then I'm going to edit the border. So right now it looks like up the pink color. So I'm going to go over here to border, button border. And then I'm going to go to more colors. This is just a color that I've used before, but you can use whatever you like. So remember, this is not set in stone what I'm using. These are um, custom made colors. So you can use some of the built in colors if you'd like. OK, so there's my my button for selected for step one. Now we're going to repeat this for all of them. So let's just go over here first and say done editing states. Once you're done, you click on editing states button and now we'll do the same thing for step two three four and five so first go to edit states go to add selected then go to format and then button fill it's already selected here from before so just do that and then that and then done editing states Go to step three, edit states. We're going to add a new one, selected, format, button fill, button border. Done editing states. Step four, edit states. Add a new one, selected. Then we're going to go up to button fill, button border, done. And last one, step five, edit states, add a new one. And change the fill and the border. And done editing states. All right, I'm just going to save that. And I think now that I look at the screen, um, I'm just going to move this over a little bit because we will have a few words that's going to pop up here, but I think it'll be a little more balanced. So I'm just going to highlight all of this and just drag that over just a little bit. OK. 
Okay. All right, so I think the main screen is pretty much done. Then the next step is to add the slide layers. But let's go and just preview this for a second. So I previewed it from the beginning, but we can then jump to this right here. And you can see when you hover over it, you see the hand tool. And when we hover, once we do the side layers, it'll actually come up with a little, some words here on the side. So when I click there, it's going to go to step one, position yourself. Now we haven't put anything on the screen yet, so you're not going to see anything, but I just want to see if it works. So we'll just go back here for a second. Step two, step three. Now it's changing all the colors because we're, we're clicking on them and we are not advancing to these. So we'll go back here. So it is working. There we go. Replay. So if you hit replay, it'll reset them. So once we build the other screens, it's going to make more sense. But right now we can just, we just see that we have the buttons, they are active and they are jumping to the right screens. We just don't have it all set yet. All right, so in the next video, we'll add the side layers. Thank you.